Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. The SSR is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video let's check out some highlights for May 23. This is the list of paid systems and tools. In the last video I already covered the best free new assets, and next one I will cover top visuals and effects. As always there's links to the asset in the description, and as a bonus you can use the coupon code monkey 10 to get 10% off your order. Also the Synthi sale is right about to end, so if there's anything you want definitely go ahead and get it right now. I made the drag racing minigame and the weapon attachment system using some nice packs, so check it out quickly before the sale ends. And the Unity S Store is also having their spring sale. I highlighted some of my favorite assets in another video. All the ones that I covered in my asset review series are on sale. For example, this is a great time for you to pick up the Quantum Console so you can easily follow my free multiplayer course. And the Flash deals are also still continuing. Definitely check that page to see which ones are starting soon so you don't miss the deepest discounts. Alright, so starting off with a very unique, interesting one, it's a measuring system. You just look at any object and you can easily get its dimensions. You can select whatever unit you want, so it can be metric or imperial. This lets you calculate the distance between two points, calculate some angle, surface area and a bunch more. One very interesting feature is how it also supports both VR and AR. So this could be generally useful for some kind of construction job with an AR headset. It has tons and tons of options and it even looks quite good. Next, if you'd like to build some kind of helicopter game, here is a great starting point. It's a complete controller, works in both mobile and PC, and it's not just a helicopter. Also includes some AI, a bunch of weapons, it has a first and third person camera, there's a radar system, buildings, power-ups and a bunch more, it even has a gasoline consumption mechanic. So it's a pretty complete pack, which would be a great starting point which you could then later on replace the visuals. Then here's one that will look very familiar to anyone used to Blender, it's a scene view bookmark tool. What it does is very simple, you can just create bookmarks on all kinds of places in your scene, then with a button click you can instantly get the scene camera to that position. On a large world this can be very useful for quickly moving around the scene view, and also when working with models this is great for quickly changing the camera to things like side view, front, top down and so on, so pretty much just like you have in Blender or any 3D model. It's a pretty simple tool, it does exactly what it's supposed to, which can be quite useful. Next here's one that is also very useful to a certain type of game, it's a bad word interpreter. If you have a more casual game targeted at a younger audience, or really just something that is very family friendly, then this can be quite useful. Making a basic tool like this one is simple, but making one that is hard for the players to bypass is actually quite difficult. This one seems to have no problems when users try to bypass it by adding some spaces or dots between the bad words. You can configure multiple languages, not just English. You can define whatever swear words you want, and make it easily updatable through a server. So if your game is meant to be family friendly and you have some chat, definitely look into a tool like this one. Next here's a tool for building a very dynamic UI. It's all based on CSS, so if you're familiar with that then this should be easy to learn. It works with Unity UI and also has easy migration to UI toolkit. It features what you see is what you get live editing, so it's very easy to edit on the fly. Contains a very detailed manual with over 300 pages. The trailer showcases a UI very much inspired by God of War and it does look very great. This is one of those tools that has a certain learning curve, but if you do take the time to learn it then it promises to be so much better than the built-in tools. Then here's an interesting one, it's a shader converter. Specifically, it converts from GLSL into URP. Now, I'm not a shader expert, but from what I've heard, writing URP shaders with code is actually really tricky, so I could see a tool like this one being quite helpful. One way that I could see this being used is on the tons and tons of shader toy shaders that exist out in the world. There are some that look really impressive, and I imagine converting them to URP would be quite tricky, so by using this tool that could definitely simplify the process. If you're into shader programming, then maybe check this out. Next, here's one with a bit of a strange name, it's called Burning Building. Now I was looking at the trailer assuming that at some point the building would go on fire and it would be some kind of fire propagation system, but actually it turns out that burning is really just the name of the developer, so this one is just a nice building tool. You can easily design a bunch of walls, you can paint the floors and walls with all kinds of materials and place a bunch of doors. The whole thing uses a mesh generation algorithm so it's all very efficient. The walls can be destroyed or you can also edit it in runtime. Also includes showing and hiding some areas based on player position or already explored areas. Then if you're working on some card based game, here is a complete game engine template. This can be used to make single player or online multiplayer games with a dedicated authoritative server. Each player can have a deck, the cards can be played on the board, then they have various abilities, costs and attacks. The cards and abilities, those are all scriptable objects, so you can easily create more and modify all of their stats. It's made using Unity's official networking solution, Netcode for Game Objects. You can open packs, collect cards and define in-game currencies. The main thing is really how this is all built to work online, so if you have an online card game idea then this can save you a ton of time. Next, if your game has dialogue and cutscenes then look at this system. It allows you to trigger camera positions, you can start some dialogue,
log, manage decision trees, animations, script events and more. It features a nice node based workflow so it's all easy for designers to use. You can import down log straight from a CSV file which makes it great for text heavy games. And it also supports a memory mechanic where an NPC will remember that certain things happened or that the player made a specific choice. Then here's a simple one, it's a value animator engine, basically a interpolation library. There's a bunch of these tools but this one is made by a very experienced developer, specifically very experienced in making UI elements. You can animate any value type, so that can be a float, vector 3, a color or anything. You can preview animations in edit mode without hitting play. Comes with a lot of preset animations and preset frame rates. Works with both Unity UI and the UI toolkit. Alright, so those are my top 10 new tools and systems on the Unity Ask Store for May 23. There's links all in the description and as a bonus you can use the coupon code MONKEY10 to get 10% off your order. Don't forget to check out the Synthi sale before it ends. Alright, hope that's useful, check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.